to subscribe! It's dangerous to wander off alone in the supermarket. Let's learn about lost child safety. <laughs> Mom! Dad! <laughs> First, be calm and don't cry. Find the happy face. <laughs> don't wander off. Stay still until your parents find you. La 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 la. Wow! <laughs> no! Wait in place! Wow! <laughs> no! Beware of strangers! Wow! <laughs> no! Wait in place! Hi hi! No! Beware of strangers! Hi hi! No! Wait in place! Hi hi! No! Wait in place! Good job! Don't wander off when you get lost! Ask for help from an adult! Tap on Deary to call a policeman! Hi, kid. Are you lost? Let me help. Do you know your parents' phone number? Yes, I know their phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Remember important information like yours and your parents' names and phone numbers. Swipe on the word bubble and reveal the phone number. <laughs> now let's call your parents. Press on the buttons to match the phone number. Five, two, four, three, six, eight, nine, seven, zero. One. Hello? Hello? Where are you, Dury? We'll come and get you. Dury safely reunited with his parents. Always stay with your parents at the supermarket. We're, We're glad, glad you're, you're safe. safe. A child safety kit helps lost children return home safely. Choose items for the child safety kit. Bracelet. Drag Jury's information to the right spot. The child safety kit is complete. Always remember, lost child safety. Wow! Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we make a delicious pizza? <laughs> Choose the pizza you want to make. Touch the dough and spin it around. Try throwing the dough up in the air! Whee! 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 Shall we put toppings on the dough?
you want to make. Crow! Touch the dough and spin it around. Crow! Try rolling the dough up in the air. Crow!
is your favorite flavor, Crumb? Time ago, a poor boy named Jack Bororo and his mother lived together. Oh, Mom, I'm hungry. Oh dear, we are all out of food. After some thought, his mother decided to sell the cow for her hungry son. Let's sell the cow and buy something delicious to eat with it. Yay! I'm so excited! Later on, Bororo was on his way to sell the cow when a stranger approached him. Hello, I'm Tongtongi. 
Will you trade your cow for my beans? These beans are special. They are magic beans that will grow tall into the sky. And up there, there are great treasures. Treasures? Whoa! Then I'll be able to eat lots of delicious food! After listening to Tong Tong, Kororo traded his cow for the beans. But Bororo's mother could not believe her son. What? You exchanged the cow for some beans? She was so angry that she threw the beans out the window. But the next day, a tall beanstalk reaching the sky had grown next to Bororo's house. Wow! They really were magic beans! Bororo climbed the giant beanstalk as he climbed up to the clouds. The castle Tong Tong told him about was there. <laughs> Where could that treasure be? Bororo went into the castle. Inside, he saw huge walls and giant furniture. Amazing! It's huge! I wonder who lives here? After a while, Bororo found a room full of treasures. He saw sparkling gold, a goose that laid golden eggs, and a magic harp. Now I'll be rich! <laughs> Excited, Bororo carried the treasure out to the hallway. But then he heard a thumping noise, and the castle started to shake. Oh no! A scary giant was chasing after Bororo! Stop there! Give me my treasure back! Uh, I'm scared! Bororo climbed down the beanstalk to run away, but the giant chased after him. Bororo desperately called out to his mother. Mom! Hurry and bring me the axe! As soon as Bororo came down, he got the axe and started to cut down the beanstalk. As the beanstalk fell, the giant fell down along with it. <laughs> Bororo defeated the giant, and the treasure helped him become rich. <laughs> I feel fantastic! I'm so proud of you, my son! <laughs> A long time ago, Geppetto Poby, the lonely carpenter, lived all by himself. So Poby carved a doll out of wood that looked like a real child. I have finished. Your name will be Pinocchio Pororo. <sighs> if only you were real. That moment, a fairy appeared with a flash of light. Yikes! Hello, I'm Loopy the Fairy. I have come to make your wish come true. Abracadabra! As Loopy's wand started to light up, Bororo came to life. Father! I don't believe this! Thank you so much! Now you are my son. Toby was so happy that he had a son now. Bororo, if you prove to be good, 
Someday you will become a real boy. But be careful, because if you lie, your nose will grow long. Yes, ma'am. Then with a spark of light, Loopy vanished. It didn't take long for Poby and Pororo to get along as father and son. Dad, you're my favorite. I love you too, my son. One day, the two went out to the sea. Pororo was excited because it was his first time seeing the ocean. Wow! The ocean is endless! <laughs> Do you like it that much? Suddenly, a giant whale emerged from the water and swallowed them up. <laughs> Poby couldn't find a way out of the whale's dark stomach. He felt helpless. <laughs> Are we going to die like this? Dad, let me handle this. I hate playing! I hate candies! Wow! Every time Bororo lied, his nose grew longer. With his long nose, Bororo tickled the whale's blowhole. The whale's body rocked as it laughed. <laughs> it tickles! Soon after, the whale spouted water out of the blowhole, and Poby and Bororo flew out. The two flew into the air and landed back on the land. Whoa! We made it! Just then, Loopy the fairy appeared in front of the happy father and son. Bororo, I was moved by your kind love towards your father. I shall turn you into a real boy. Abracadabra! As Loopy swirled her wand, Bororo turned into a real person. Oh, Pororo, my son. From that moment, Poby and Pororo lived together happily. Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Poby, there was a beautiful princess named Snow White Petty. Father! Oh, my daughter, the most beautiful girl in the world. But there was an evil queen in the kingdom. <laughs> she was Princess Petty's stepmother. Hmm. I am more beautiful than Petty. The jealous queen asked her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? It is, of course, Princess Petty. Loopy was filled with anger, so she called a huntsman and told him to get rid of Petty. The huntsman followed the queen's orders and kidnapped Petty while she was in the garden. Kararang! Eek! Help me! Then the huntsman pushed Petty down the hill. I'm sorry, Krong. I'm scared of the Queen, Krong. When ah! Petty woke up from the fall, she saw seven dwarfs surrounding her. Who... who are you?
you. Uh! Don't be afraid, princess. We are the Rainbow Dwarves. What? Rainbow? <laughs> you guys are so cute. From then on, Pete lived together with the dwarves in their home. But one day, the dwarves were away, and a strange old woman came to the house. Beautiful girl, will you please buy an apple? An apple? Just try one first. Thank you. <laughs> oh no! As Petty ate the apple, she fainted and fell down. <laughs> Did you like my poisonous apple? Now I am the fairest of them all. <laughs> Satisfied, Loopy returned to the castle. The dwarves took good care of the princess, but she didn't wake up. <laughs> I wish someone would come and help wake our princess up. <laughs> Just then, a prince on a horse was passing by. I am Prince Budenol from the neighboring kingdom. I shall gift a kiss to the sleeping princess. As soon as Budenol kissed Petty, she opened her eyes. Are you okay, princess? Oh, prince! Soon, the king found out about everything and became furious. What? Lock away the evil witch at once! Uh, uh, I'm sorry! Loopy was punished by the king, and Prince Pororo and Princess Petty had got married happily. <laughs> I love you, Prince Pororo!